this is very important material for me. When I'm saw milling the log, it's like first cut from the log. This is a perfect fire material. And today we will do together special racks system where to store and place these wooden boards and how to cut them after with chainsaw in very very effective way. This is my fireplace in my house. This is only one way how I can heat my house. I do not have electric or, or any other option. Before I produce special rack system I need to know how long fire would I need. And it is 32 centimeters. That means exactly one feet long. We will use as basement two wood boards. We will place them vertical. That means it's two inch and two inch here. And the idea is that we will cut with chainsaw from one side and we will cut with chainsaw from other side. I have 15 inch bar. I will go and I will check what is logical distance between these two foundation bars. Maybe if it's together 30, um, probably I just need to use total distance just 20 inch. I mean we need here one vertical stud and here one vertical stud. It's one second cut, third cut and fourth cut. And we need to be here. We will use only one, two and four stud. Here we will not place studs. That means in the length it should be like four feet and for me this sketch is enough already in my mind but for you I will do in the uh, computer sketch and I will leave it in my home page you will be free to download if you wish That's our rack system, what we just built. Right now I will try to take these wooden boards and I will try to fill it up before I start to cut with chainsaw. If we place some large, big boards on the top, it's a little bit press, that when we don't need to use strop all around. Now we can start to go from one side with chainsaw cut 
and then from other side and just come more and more closer to the middle and then just cut with chains of only center the good point is when you have collected it you even don't need to cut immediately because it's lifted from the ground it's a nice stuck and it's drying even if it will rain anyway it will dry out very quickly let's we will take chainsaw and we will start to cut from one another end like this video press like subscribe and see you next time bye If you have some wood from forest or from your sawmill and it's in different dimensions like the wood board can be 15 feet or even longer and in one end it's like zero thickness and in other it's like maybe even two feet wide and very thick then that kind of rack systems in combination with chainsaw in my mind works the best Another type of dimensions I'm cutting directly in the forest and some other small and one size logs I'm cutting with other kind of electric So what I will show you in other episode But keep in mind that kind of rack systems is very help helpful If you have sawmill or different size of wood You can consider in your homesteading to have that kind of also Thank you for watching Thank you guys Bye